What's going on my friend? You got William James here and in this video I'm going to show you how to get unlimited free targeted traffic from Facebook. No paid ads, as much traffic as you want. So if you're new to the channel, again, my name is William James. I do videos for network marketers, affiliate marketers, course creators, anyone who is looking to start and grow a home-based business uh, using free Facebook strategies. That's my specialty. I have a whole group where I teach the ins and outs of the Facebook algorithm, how to get traffic on Facebook, how to turn it into sales. And uh, if you're not already a member in that group, there'll be a link below this video where you can join the group. There's also some links for uh, opportunities and things that I recommend men uh, so definitely check that out and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up let me know what you thought in the comments and please subscribe to the channel so with that out of the way guys let's dive right in how to get unlimited free targeted traffic from Facebook so of course Facebook you know would very much like you to spend a lot of money on on paid ads on Facebook ads uh, and the, you know the kind of way that they hook you into that is with their targeting feature you know that they they uh, their main selling point for Facebook ads is that you can get very very specific about targeting the sort of person that you're after uh, you know to reach with your Facebook ads and that is great but you can do just as good of a job targeting the person that you're after without spending a dime on ads and I'm going to show you how to do that so unlimited free targeted traffic how do you do it so the first the first part before we start trying to get traffic is that you have to target it in other words you have to actually know what sort of person you're after now a lot of people are a little bit unclear in their own mind about who the types of people are that they're looking for so before you do anything the first step in marketing as far as I'm concerned is to figure out you know what problem your offer is going to solve and who are the people that have that problem and how are you going to find them if you don't know those things really nothing else that you're going to be doing uh, is going to work because you just have no idea who you're even talking to and you don't know how to find them and without traffic you have nothing so none of the other steps that come after this will be any good so uh, you must know what problem your offer solves you must know who the people are that have that problem and you must know how you're going to go and find them now uh, for me you know my whole business is kind of focused around helping uh, struggling affiliate marketers network marketers course creators right so I know that the people that I'm looking for are people who are in those areas who are in affiliate marketing network marketing so forth so I know that the the easiest way for me to find those people you know is is to go where they're hanging out right so that a lot of people will say this but uh, as long as you know exactly who you're looking for finding them is really not an issue I mean you can go to groups pages even Facebook ads that are targeted towards you know affiliate marketers say and there they are there's like millions of these people right so I'm gonna find my target audience in affiliate marketing network marketing type of groups and, and liking things on pages and uh, liking and commenting on ads that are targeted to that to that niche right so there's literally millions of those people I can just go out and find them so what do I do the question is how do I take the fact that there's all those people out there and how do I efficiently get their attention directed to my content that's what we mean by traffic guys when I say traffic what that actually means is people who are looking at your stuff your content right it's eyeballs on you that's all traffic is it's just people whose attention you have right so there's all these people out there there's millions of them so what do I do to get their attention well the first step with Facebook and Facebook is the only platform where you can really do this is to build your audience uh, by sending friend requests now everyone teaches this you already know this I'm sure but it goes much farther beyond this so the Facebook friend request is only the first step right you the goal here guys is to build a list you know a collection of people who are interested in you and what you have to offer yeah an audience a friends list an email list whatever it is it's some form of a list of people who are paying attention to you and we call that traffic you own Russell Brunson calls it that anyway you know when when you have the ability to put out a piece of communication like like send an email to a list and 
automatically, you know, you've got eyeballs on that. That's called traffic you own as opposed to, you know, people out there that you have to go and contact, right? So we're, we're, we're building a, a list so that we own those people's attention, basically. Um, so the first thing that you want to do, obviously, is build your audience by sending friend requests. But the next thing you got to do is you have to actually get their attention because, you know, being friends with 5,000 people who are your, you know, in your target niche is great. But if they don't actually see your content, it's, you know, there's no point, right? So the first step is to do what I teach in my Facebook group and master the algorithm. Well, I guess it's the second step. The first step is building the list of friends, right? The second step is mastering the Facebook algorithm so that the algorithm shows your your posts to those people, right? And you want to be, you know that your, your posts are reaching your friends list if you're getting a lot of likes and comments. So that's pretty, that's why we want likes and comments. If you want to watch those videos, there's a couple videos on my YouTube channel about it, but definitely join the group. It's all about how to do that. There's a lot of ins and outs to how to do that. So you want to be making sure your content is actually seen by a good portion of your friends list. So from there, say they're seeing your content, right? But it's up to you to write content that actually gets their attention and captivates them and makes it gets them interested in you. So the way that you do this is not by talking about your offer, because nobody cares what your offer is. It's not by, you know, posting uh, lots and lots of income screenshots and being like, hey, I made sale. I see people all the time on Facebook who I don't know, who are posting about how they just made money. I don't care. I don't because I don't care because I don't know who that person is. You see, if it's someone that I'm following and they're posting about their opportunity and how, you know, how it's working and everything. And I, that's someone that I already know, like, and trust that I might be interested in that, but you have to do that first before you can get people interested in opportunity. So a lot of folks are going out there, they're adding friends and then they're posting about their business. They're posting about their offer, right? And it doesn't work that way. Okay. There's a step in the middle, which is that through your content, you've got to build no like and trust with people, which means that you have to stop pitching, stop talking about your offer for a while, and start by creating content that is going to help people with wherever they're already at. So a lot of, you know, my Facebook posts are kind of directed at giving some tips, giving some marketing tips, right? And for me, what I like to do is use my Facebook profile, the, my wall, as actually a funnel to my Facebook group. Because in my Facebook group, I can give a whole lot more value to people uh, than I really can on my wall. So in a sense, my wall, my, my profile is like an ad for my group. So my, my objective is to get people's attention, make them think that I'm somebody who knows what I'm talking about, which I am. Do you know what I'm talking about? And then uh, from there, basically, I'm, I'm hoping to direct them to my group. So that's why my profile is set up the way it is with, with you know, my banner image and everything being about my group because I really want people to join the group. So, and I often post, you know, uh, at the end of my post, I'll often say, you know, if you like this, definitely check out my group kind of thing. So, but if you're not writing good content, that's going to be valuable and helpful to people, then it doesn't matter how many eyeballs you get, right? So, because they're not really paying attention and so they don't really count as traffic. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can post pictures of Snoopy and like pretty flowers all day long. And I guess, I mean, technically that's traffic, but it doesn't do you any good. So I wouldn't count it as traffic, right? So think about people whose attention and interest you have captured as traffic. So, you know, from there, that kind of brings me to the meat and potatoes of this, which is, you know, your content is step one, but really what you want to do is move people from being friends who see your content to being a member of some type of a list, uh, whether it's an email list, a group, or a YouTube subscriber, you know, YouTube, my group, and my email list are the three channels that I focus on. Some people do uh, like a many chat list get people to subscribe to your chat bot on Facebook. I don't use that, but um, 
and there's various other you know platforms and things you can move people to but the point here guys is to show so much value on your wall that they then want to get more value from you from you know subscribing to whatever it is that you're building whether it's a group an email list a youtube channel all three whatever it is right so that's the goal here as we're building our for, for me it's you know i mostly i focus on the group right so i'm i'm building my facebook group and from there i'm, I'm giving more more and more value right now these people who i've gotten interested and are now seeing my content on my on my wall <clears throat> in my facebook group when they subscribe when they join my group they give me their email address so now they're on my email list and now i can email them out youtube videos so i'm i'm giving them val there's value coming at them from me from all angles now right it's a very slick process you know where i can take somebody from somebody who doesn't know me at all they're getting a friend request they click on the friend request they open my profile they're grabbed by my content they go oh this guy looks like he knows what he's talking about oh check it out he's got a group i'm going to join the group when they join the group they give me their email address as soon as they get inside they get told to subscribe to my youtube channel and even if they don't subscribe to the channel they're getting emails with youtube videos right so it's a very systematic approach to bringing people into my world so that I can communicate to them, right? So these are, this is called traffic that I own. These are people who I can reach anytime I want by, you know, creating a video like this, sending an email, posting in my group, what have you, right? I can more or less count on getting their attention whenever I want to now. So that is how it's done, guys. A lot of people are really, um, you know, hung up on this idea of like, I have to just focus on building as many friends as I can. And then, um, you know, and then just like posting about my business or telling them all about my business and that that's going to work and that it doesn't work that way because, you know, the, the primary reason for someone being interested in you and uh, eventually buying something from you is the primary factor is whether they know, like, and trust you guys. I can't overemphasize that, right? So you, your objective must be first to gain their trust before you sell them something. And the way that you do that is to create valuable, interesting content that's going to help them with wherever they're at and the problems that they have. Yeah. So again, that comes back to really knowing very specifically what problems you're looking to solve for people okay like what what's your skill set what's your knowledge base and what is it that your offer might be able to do for people so that then you know okay this is like this is what i can do for people and uh this is how i'm going to be able to communicate that this is how i'm going to find those people who have that problem so like for me I'm, I'm very clearly looking for people who are doing uh, online business, affiliate marketing, network marketing, and they're struggling, and, and they're struggling specifically with Facebook, right? How to get traffic on Facebook, all these kinds of stuff. So there's a lot of people out there, and I can find them, and it's pretty easy to find those people, right? But if you're, like a lot of people are in, you know, uh, like health and wellness or you know, they're in travel or something and it's, it's not as clear to them who the people are that are actually going to be interested in their offer because they're not really sure what, what problem their offer solves. And guys, to some degree, you know, there are good offers and bad offers in the sense that there are some offers that don't really solve much of a problem. Like they don't solve a problem that people actually have. You know what I mean? Uh, one of my issues with the kind of general health and wellness industry is it's very vague what the problem is that they solve right or if it's you know if it's something like we have a problem that fixes rheumatoid arthritis or we have a solution that fixes rheumatoid arthritis that's specific and you can go find people who have that and if the product actually works you got a business right but there's too many businesses out there that are just sort of like take this magical green powder and it'll make you somehow healthier and the problem with that is that there's not that many people out there who, who just have a burning desire to be, you know, vaguely a little bit healthier for some, you know, right? People have a specific problem and 
you've got to be able to help them solve that problem. So anyway, I digress. But point is, get clear on what problem you're trying to solve. Find the people that have that problem. Build an audience of those people. Get their interest with your content and move them onto some type of a list where you can communicate with them because that is how you get free unlimited and targeted traffic from Facebook. There's no reason to spend money on ads. If you do this properly, it can take, you know, an hour or two a day maybe, but it works like gangbusters and you're going to get much, much higher quality uh, attention from people than you would just by running ads. Because when you just run an ad, you know, somebody might be interested enough to click on the ad, but they don't know you. They don't know anything about you they're right they're probably going to forget you the second you know they're done looking at your ad whereas if you do this organically and you really build up that value and the content you're building up relationships with all these people through your content so that they really uh you know you you stick in their mind and they remember you and they and they uh are actually going to listen to you when you've got something to say. So uh, hope that makes sense, guys. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Of course, if it's valuable to you and you want to share it with friends who are in this industry, please go ahead and share this video um, and subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. If you're not in the group, there's a link below to join the group. Uh, there's also a couple of uh, really slick offers that I have down there if you're interested in what I'm promoting, what I recommend. Uh, some completely one of the businesses completely done for you guaranteed income for life so uh, absolutely no risk everyone will succeed uh, so I you know every time I do a video I'm like I want to point that out because there's just no reason for anyone not to be uh, in this particular uh, deal we're we're doing right now so definitely check that out and uh, until next time guys have a great one we'll talk soon bye